Peace. This is a meat and potato sorcery production starring myself, the Water Alchemist. And today, for the occult family, I want to talk about understanding Malkuth. Malkuth deals with the Kabbalah. And basically, what that means is that is the kingdom. So, to understand Malkuth, this deals on the earthly plane, on the earthly realm. And basically, it will come down to seeing a woman with a crown. And it may seem like an oxymoron because of kingdom and queendom. But that's what it comes down to. So, to understand Malkuth on the earthly plane, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to learn the powers of discrimination what may work for someone may not work for you and i want to i don't want to give an oversimplification of that but that's really what it comes down to so when you're dealing with malkuth you have to basically deal with discrimination you're going to have to learn how to separate. And when you are on the tree of life, which has been started with Kemet or Egypt, and as well as the Norse pantheon, because you'll start from hell and then you work up to Midgard and then Asgard. So when you're dealing with this, you have to learn to discriminate and make good decisions. You may not always be perfect because perfection is a myth, but your good decisions will outweigh your bad decisions. So when you're dealing with this with Malku, this is how it's going to work. You're going to run into elementals. And when you're dealing with the Kabbalah, one thing about it is that you won't encounter evil individuals, but you will encounter elementals and so-called lower forms that will test you. So what you're going to do is that to offset that, you can deal with Adonai. Because with each Sephirah, there's always an angel attached to that. So, Adonai, Lord of the Earth, you can vibrate that name. And then also, the angel that is attached to that is Sal Dafan, the Prince of Prayers. So, whenever you're at a low point or you need some introspection, he will take that to one of the creators. So Saldifan will do that and Adonai. So if you ever feel that you're being manipulated, you can vibrate the names of Adonai. Adonai, Saldifan, and you will not get tricked or manipulated. And as far as dealing with the chakras, the this this when you're dealing with Malkuth, this deals with the root chakra. Now the colors are olive green as well as black. So you can utilize that. You won't get tricked, you won't get manipulated. And there's not no evil. And one thing also about dealing with Malkuth is that it's all about working your way up to Kether, the crown. Now, if you start with Malkuth and you want to descend and go downward, then you will deal with the Kalipoth, shells or husk. And then you will deal with Samael, Lilith, and etc. So this is understanding Malku. 
It's all about making the best decisions on the earthly plane. So with that, that is your meat and potato sauce for the day. I am the Water Alchemist. What are my friends? Peace.